learn about how to implement deformable objects in IsaacSim. With those APIs, you can implement the ob objects, something like jelly or tire and sponge. Before diving into Python API codes, I would like to introduce how to make a deformable body with IsaacSim GUI. So first, let's create a simple cube mesh from create mesh cube. And then let's create the ground plane. Create physics and here, ground plane. And then I'm going to move this little tiny cube up a little bit. And then from this stage tab, right click this cube and from add physics, click this deformable body. It seems like nothing has changed, but if you turn on this deformable body visualization from this, this eye shape button and show by type physics and deformable body, yeah, make it like mine. Click this selected, selected button. Then if you select this object, you can notice that this cube is divided into numerous triangles as follows. And if you learn this simulation scene, you can also check its elastic movements. Okay, now let's make some modification into this model. And let's stop this model. And if you move this cube a little bit upper and twice several times, yeah, you can yeah, watch this elastic movements. It's awesome. So yeah, from this stage tag, click this cube. And let's scroll down. There will be a deform body, deformable body under this physics tab. And I'm gonna change this value simulation mesh resolution from 4 to 8 to 16 or 32. Can you guess what this resolution means? Yes, as you see in here, if I increase this value, you can implement more softer and dense deformable object. So let me run this simulation with parameter resolution 4. Looks like more steep. If I change this value into 16, and if I load this again, you can notice that it becomes much more flexible and elastic. So this is what this simulation mesh resolution means. All right, now it is time to learn about Python code for this. For this, I had already provided from Isaac Sim example. Here it is, example four, hello different model. Click this and click this load button. You can find three different cubes with different colors. And if I run this simulation, you can notice that all those are implemented with different mesh resolutions. The green one, and blue one, and <clears throat> this red one has a different mesh resolution. So now it's time to dive into the code. First, Let's look around this setup scene function. We're going to create this default ground plane and three cube objects. So all those functions, I mean, the, this red cube and blue cube and green cube functions, they contains code lines for deformable physics. So from led at led cube, first create cube mesh with translation and scale. If you don't, if you want to learn about, about this, please look for my previous videos. And next, I'm going to apply deformable body physics with add physics deformable body function. And in here, from red cube and blue cube, green cube, each one has different simulation hexahedral resolution from 10 to 5 to 2.
Okay, <clears throat> so far so good. And in this example, I want to talk about one thing to keep in mind. That is, in order to utilize this deformable object API, you must turn on GPU Dynamics option, which can be done by from this basic scene. Look at this. Now you can check this. Enable GPU Dynamics option is turned on in our simulation example. So, how can you do so in Python code? In Python code, here it is. You can check this function that is named that board, board pays type and enable GPU Dynamics. The first parameter, parameter of the enable GPU Dynamics means I'm gonna turn on this GPU Dynamics options. So let me comment this function and save it. And if I run this example again, yeah, let's click this load button again. But keep in mind, now I commented, I mean deleted this GPU Dynamics turning on option. So if I click this load button and trying to load this simulation, look at this. Like this, you might encounter GPU Dynamics error. So some special functions, including deformable object and FD SDF mesh or collision groups, they require GPU Dynamics. So I will let you know all about those in my next videos. Now in this situation, since we turned off this GPU Dynamics, but all those objects require GPU Dynamics, so it's exactly they don't have any Dynamics options. So even though I learned this simulation, they won't work because they don't have any Dynamics options, so they won't move. Okay. So in this video, we learned about how the basics of the deformable body. And to be honest, I'm planning to open an in-person seminar for more high level and advanced applications, but I'm not sure, but I'm planning to hold it in Southern California. So please let me know by leaving comments or sending an email if you're interested in, and thank you for watching and have a good one.